Good morning, Tweenerheads. Day three of our adventure. We are currently in traffic on our way to the tournament. I got my Dunkin' Donuts selfless plug. Please sponsor me. Uh, but yeah, here we go. Oh God, I'm driving. everybody. Talent alone doesn't make you a champion in anything in life. You have to have a team. And my new book that'll be out about October, November will be called A Coach's Journey. And it'll take my 60 years. I wrote it freehand. My thumb is three times the size because I don't know how to use a computer. And the chapter on leadership and being a leader is done by the commander of the Blue Angels. And it's amazing to, to see what it takes to be a champion. So I'm here with Ruben today and I want to talk to you about the Davis Cup experience. Walk us through what it was like to play France in 2017 and even though it wasn't the best result, tell, walk us through that experience. No, we knew it was going to be a tough tie for us uh, against uh, the French team. Mm -hmm. They're uh, overall really solid to have good singles players, good doubles players and uh, we, yeah, we just have a good uh, team spirit, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, we have David Goffin who is a top 10 player but uh, after that we just have a uh, a really solid team spirit and, and we just give it all for our country it's a it's a privilege to to play for your country but uh, no the atmosphere was great there uh, it was mm -hmm. a stadium of 30,000 people uh, it was full every day uh, I've never experienced that so that was uh, that was an amazing experience for me is that like your version of the World Cup as a tennis players perspective that's like the ultimate yes, goal for you de guys. definitely I think yeah. you can compare it with uh, with the soccer yeah. World Cup that, that just happened uh, no, it was just, just an amazing feeling to, to play for your country in front of that many people. It's, uh, I think, what every professional uh, sportsman yeah. uh, would, would like to achieve. Awesome. Thank you so much, Ruben. You're a tennis legend within the world of doubles. What's the first thing you look for with a doubles player when it comes to pairs? I think it's communication. Um, I've played with so many different partners now. It's probably been like about 115 plus partners in the men's game. Um, that communication is really important because on some days I will play great, he won't play great. Some days he'll play great and I won't play great. So mm. at the end of the day, it's about the sum of two individuals has got to be greater than two. What made you choose doubles over singles? Or 
to focus on. Primarily. I played a lot of singles before. I won my Olympic medal in singles. Yeah. Uh, I've won the Newport Hall of Fame singles. I beat Sampras in singles in New Haven. Got up into the back of the top 73, I think I was. Uh, played a couple of Grand Slams. But in 2001, I made a, a conscious decision to move over to doubles because mm -hmm. I felt that in doubles I could win Grand Slams, whereas in singles it would be a lot harder too. So gotcha. I'm happy I made that switch. Awesome. Fantastic. Just I think it's really funny how some people come to these tournaments just decked out like they're ready to play and it's like, oh coach, put me in. Okay, coming right down. Grabs the racket out of the player's hand and then plays the match for him. I don't get it. I mean, it's funny and it's cool and you probably are comfortable, but come on, you really, you're not playing. Just, just, just dress normally, I don't, I don't know. Why, why are you dressed like a player? Why, are you willing to sign someone else's autograph? <laughs> they just start signing autographs randomly. That would be really funny. Speaking of your family, when you, with your career winding down, do you think you'll become the coach for your kids? <laughs> well, I think there's still a long way to go, but uh, yeah, why not? I mean, I don't think, uh, well, you should never say never, but in the beginning now, for sure, I'm not gonna travel. I'm not gonna be a touring coach or something like that, but uh, yeah, who knows if, if one, of the player, if one of the kids wants to, to be a pro, I would be happy to help, but uh, just as I just said, they're only six and seven now. It's a long way to go, and who knows, maybe they, they, they choose a totally different sport. You know, I never know. <laughs> sure. So what do you want to do after, reti after you retire? Uh, I mean, the big, big beginning, I mean, it's tough. It's still a couple months to go, but I think the first thing I want to do is just relax. I mean, this, this first, this last uh, couple of years were really tough, and, uh, and um, yeah, I mean, traveling around, having two kids, having a family at home, and. Uh, yeah, I just want to stay with them and, and enjoy them. And, and uh, I missed so many things over the last few years. Uh, I feel like uh, I want to I want to all get them back now. So uh, yeah, I mean, I don't have. Um, obviously, I want I want to do something in in, in, in tennis and in sports in, in general in Luxembourg because I think there's many things to do there. But uh, let's see. I, mean, I still have a few months on the tour. I want to focus 100% on that and uh, yeah, cherish every moment and. and, and uh, I'm not gonna lie, during this match or during center court, I've never seen so many pelicans try to fly onto this court. Yeet. Winner by Dumin out. After a marathon match between Karlovic and Dumanauer, we are finally done with day three. It has been a long day today. Um, we got to see a lot of good stuff. Unfortunately, we didn't get to do any of the uh, tur uh, the grip challenge. So we'll hopefully get some tomorrow. Hope everyone enjoyed today's content today. I hope we get a lot more tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be all about 
Tennis Hall of Fame. So stay tuned for that. We're going to get an inside scoop of what the Tennis Hall of Fame is and what it has in it as well. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. Make sure to follow us on all our social medias, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all of those. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe on the video. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video and hope to see you guys tomorrow. Thanks, guys. From him, Sid.